Ever wondered how to write an effective literature review? Well, you're not alone. A literature review is a critical assessment of existing knowledge on a topic. It's a crucial part of academic writing, particularly for university students and researchers. It helps broaden your understanding, identifies gaps in the current knowledge, and sets the stage for further research. Whether you're studying business, science, or humanities, knowing how to write a literature review can significantly boost your research skills. By the end of this video, you will know exactly how to write an engaging and informative literature review. First things first, it's essential to understand what a literature review is. A literature review is a comprehensive summary of previous research on a topic. It surveys books, scholarly articles, and any other sources relevant to a particular issue or area of research. The purpose of a literature review is to provide a thorough background to a research topic, demonstrating your familiarity with existing work in the field and setting the stage for your own research. Let's consider a business research scenario for instance. If you're researching the impact of social media marketing on consumer behavior, your literature review would encompass studies that explore various aspects of this topic, from how social media influences shopping decisions to the role of influencers in shaping consumer attitudes. These reviews are crucial because they help you avoid unnecessary duplication and offer a solid foundation upon which to build your research. Now that you know what a literature review is and its importance, it's time to learn how to write one. The first step in writing a literature review is identifying your topic. Now, you might be thinking that's easy, just pick something you're interested in, right? Well, not quite. You see, choosing a clear, focused topic is crucial. It's like setting the GPS for your research journey. Without a clear destination, you might end up wandering aimlessly in the vast wilderness of information. Let's break it down. A good topic should be clear, focused, and most importantly, researchable. It should be something with enough literature available for you to review, and narrow enough for you to deal with in your allotted time and word limit. So, how do you go about choosing such a topic? Here's a tip. Start broad, then narrow down. Think of a general field you're interested in, say business. Then narrow it down to a specific aspect. Maybe you're curious about how social media affects consumer behavior. That's a great topic right there. And keep this in mind. Your topic doesn't have to be earth-shattering. It's not about finding a topic no one's ever thought of before. It's about exploring an area in a new or different way. So, take your time, brainstorm, do some preliminary reading and choose your topic wisely. It's the foundation of your literature review, and a strong foundation leads to a strong structure. Once you have your topic, you're ready for the next step, gathering your sources. The second step involves gathering the sources that will form the backbone of your literature review. This step is crucial, as the quality of your sources directly impacts the credibility of your review. So, where do we start? Well, you'll want to focus on reliable, scholarly sources. These are often found in academic journals, databases and books written by experts in the field. But how do we find these gold nuggets of information? A good place to start is your university's library or its online database. You can also use search engines like Google Scholar or databases like JSTOR and EBSCO. These platforms are designed to filter out non-scholarly sources, making your search much easier. Now let's talk about selection. You might be tempted to use every source that seems relevant. Resist this urge. Remember it's not about quantity but quality. You want to select sources that are relevant, current, and authoritative. To illustrate, let's go back to our business topic from earlier. Say we're reviewing literature on current trends in digital marketing strategies. We'd start by searching for recent scholarly articles on the topic, giving priority to those published within the last five years. We'd then look at who the authors are. Are they respected experts in the field of digital marketing? If yes, into our list they go. We'd also want to look at the citation count of these articles. A high citation count often indicates that the article has been influential in the field. Additionally, we'd consider the relevance of the source to our specific topic. Does it contribute to our understanding of current trends in digital marketing strategies? If it does, it's a keeper. But remember, gathering sources is not a one-time thing. It's an iterative process. As you delve deeper into your topic, you might find that you need more sources or that some of your initial sources are no longer as relevant. That's okay, with your sources in hand you're well on your way. The next step is to read and analyze these sources. The third step is where you dive deep into your sources. Now don't be mistaken, we're not talking about a leisurely swim here. This is more like deep sea diving, where the real treasures lie hidden beneath the surface. 
The first part of this step involves critically reading your sources. This means not just absorbing the information presented, but critically evaluating it. You need to ask yourself, what are the strengths and weaknesses of this source? Does it provide valid arguments? Are the facts and figures accurate and reliable? Is the author an authority on the subject? Remember, not all sources are created equal. Some are like precious pearls, full of insight and wisdom. Others, well, they're more like fool's gold, shiny on the surface but lacking in substance. Next, you need to examine the relevance of each source to your topic. A source might be brilliant in its own right, but if it doesn't relate to your topic, it's not going to be much use to you. Think of this as a process of sifting, where you're separating the wheat from the chaff. Now, as you're going through this process, it's crucial to take effective notes. This doesn't mean scribbling down everything word for word. Instead, focus on the main ideas, the key arguments, the evidence used to support those arguments, and your own thoughts and reactions. You might find it helpful to create a matrix or a mind map to organize your notes. You could also use sticky notes or highlighters to mark important points. Find a system that works for you and stick to it. Remember, the goal here isn't to memorize every single detail, but to understand and engage with your sources on a deeper level. This will provide a solid foundation for your literature review. Having analyzed your sources, you're ready to start writing your literature review. But remember, like any good explorer, you need to know your terrain before you set out on your journey. So take your time, delve deep, and uncover the treasures hidden within your sources. The fourth and final step is writing your literature review. Now that you've identified your topic, gathered your sources and analyzed them, it's time to dive into the writing process. Let's break down the structure of a literature review into three main sections, the introduction, the body, and the conclusion. The introduction serves as the opening act of your review. It should clearly state your research question and the scope of your review. The aim is to set the stage and provide context for the reader. For instance, if you're writing a literature review about the impact of social media marketing on small businesses, you might start by discussing the rise of social media and its significance in today's business world. Next comes the body. This is where you discuss your findings. It's crucial to organize your thoughts in a coherent manner. You might choose to arrange your review chronologically, thematically or methodologically, based on what makes the most sense for your topic. Remember, your goal is to synthesize the information, not just summarize it. So, rather than merely listing your sources, aim to draw connections between them, identify trends, and highlight gaps in the research. Using our example, you might explore different strategies small businesses use in social media marketing, discuss their effectiveness, and point out areas that need further research. Finally, we have the conclusion. This is your chance to summarize your main findings and reflect on their implications. You should also suggest avenues for future research. In our social media marketing example, you might conclude by summarizing the most effective strategies and suggesting further research on emerging social media platforms. Writing clearly and effectively is key. Use simple, straightforward language. Avoid jargon, unless it's necessary for your topic. Remember, your literature review should be accessible to a wide audience, not just experts in your field. And there you have it, a well-crafted literature review. So, to quickly recap, we've embarked on a journey through the world of literature reviews, starting with identifying a topic. This is your first, crucial step. Your topic is your guiding light, leading you through the vast sea of information. Next, we dove into the deep waters of research gathering sources. This step is all about collecting as many relevant materials as you can. Remember, the more information you have, the more comprehensive your literature review will be. Then we surface to analyze these sources, breaking them down to understand their value and relevance to your topic. This is where your analytical skills come into play, helping you discern what's worth including in your review. Finally, we arrived at the last stop, writing the literature review. Here, we combined all the information, insights, and knowledge gained from the previous steps to create a coherent and comprehensive review. Remember, writing a literature review is a skill that takes practice, so don't be discouraged if it feels tough at first. Keep at it and soon you'll be crafting excellent literature reviews with ease.